You want to scam the most dangerous gangster in JB? Go after him! I will make you pay for it. There's another lead you can check up on. Penny, his mother. Took me some time, but I got something. The last time you gave Devon a warning, it didn't work. Someone contacted me and paid me to fake the results and then to delete the records. Not all teenagers can afford to buy their crush an expensive bracelet with a floral pattern. No, I'm not setting you up! How exactly are you going to get your old man to drop all that money? I just need to find some leverage. What the hell? We are going to take care of Devon already. What do you want to do about your son? I know where you stand on this. We can't afford to bump him off. Too many questions raised from Jasmine, from that reporter. If anything happens to him, then what? You have to ask me to the question. Robert. How? If it makes the problem go away with everyone happy, no further escalations, why not? That's not the way, right? What? It's unlocked. I always lock it. I think Uncle Eddie is working with Chris or whoever this Chris really is. Uncle Eddie would die before betraying my dad. Which raises the next question. Is my dad involved too? I don't know. So should we confront this Chris? Tell her dad, the others? We don't know what's going on. Dad might be involved, and Sammy and Reza are in too deep with him. Plus... He knows what really happened at Ubin. He could send all of us to jail. Yeah, we should keep things quiet until we can find out more. I know this is not going to be easy for you, but... you can't let on what you know. Hey. We'll figure this out together. It's late. Yeah. Good night. Night. Oh, hey, Dad. Uncle Eddie, did you there? Chris, my study. I always lock it, except now it's not. You can't be honest with me. Okay. Let's be honest. Let's all be honest. What are you doing? We're just talking. Yeah? And what were we talking about? Together. Out here. About how I'm going to take a walk before turning in. I'll talk to you more tomorrow, Dad. Ready? Hey? Good night. Dad. It's late. Go and get some rest. He knows.
Send you. Go and die. You better tell me, or I'll show you what the knife can do. and a way out. You have to help me. I'm not going to help you with anything. You think I don't know what happened? Your scam feared and boss Chow is after you. Come on, bro. You go long way back, eh? Don't bro me, bro. Chow sent Ashong into coma just for looking at his mistress and you cheated him. Yes, we go a long way back, but I'm not going to piss him off. Go, I pretend I never see you. Gang, I don't want to do this, ah. Huh? But what do you think boss Chow do to you? You found out that you are involved. But I didn't help you. I know that. You know that. But boss Chow doesn't know that. It's really to your advantage that you help me get out of here. I think I'm really sorry. I really have no choice. I help you, you disappear, I don't see your face again. Yeah, no, no problem, no problem. I'll, I'll lay low. From now on, it's a straight and narrow for me. You took the bracelet. That means he knows about Cassandra. Doesn't matter. That bracelet is not the right one. Doesn't need to be. If David finds out about it, he'll put everything together. Speaking of which, have you heard back from your guy yet? You said you had this settled. It's settled. Well, I've already told you. You have no idea what it feels like. You see your family reunited, your wife, reunited your, your wife well again. And he became a coward. You watch yourself. Remember, you are working for me. And remember, who knows where the bodies are buried? We don't mean real bodies. We were just talking business. We can talk business while we eat. Last night, I had a dream of my old piano teacher, Cassandra Khan. And what do you remember about Miss Gunn? Of uh, playing the piano while wearing that pretty bracelet. Her death is still unsolved, right? Okay. Just what do you want? To let my dreams fade from my memory. Money. Lots of it to be funneled through the startup so you can pass it off as an investment to avoid unwanted questions from the bank or the board of directors. You want to black me off? Duh. I'm sure we can make a deal. <laughs> Whatever this is, I'm not interested. Jasmine, we should talk. Sure. Email me. I'll type out a reply and you can read it off the bug you've installed at my laptop. And I know plenty of other things, too. Wait, wait. Please believe the attack on businessman Ho Ming Shen was the result of an attempt to hire someone to assault his mistress. Investigations are ongoing, and the impact is already felt as share prices for Shen Holdings have plunged. This is the guy your friend sent me is seeing? She's the mistress? Don't judge. I'm not. I'm just worried for her. You should check on her. And that's what I'm trying to do, but she's not picking up. I'll just text her. Bilang dia, kalau dia nak, kita boleh tolong. Meanwhile, in other news, financier Spencer Toe's injury has been officially ruled an accident, but his family is still pressing for answers. Even the police have said that they cannot be 100% certain that it was an accident. We want to know, we need to know what happened how it happened. If anyone has any information, please 
Let us know. You and Jasmine think that something is up with Chris, but you won't tell me what. Well, not won't. Can't. And what happened to no more secrets? Well, because this secret isn't mine to tell, it's Jasmine's. And, and she's worried about how it'll affect her mum, our friends, and the consequences. I know you'll do the right thing. Oh, where is that damn card, huh? Hi, what's with you? Your medical appointment card, Ma, for later. You know how the nurses get so worked up when you go without it? Oh, that card. Hey. Nah, you two keep nagging about the appointment. You think I dare to forget, man? I know. And clean up the mess, ah. Mm. the hell away from me. Whatever you have to say, I'm not interested. I know you have your doubts about me, May. No, you don't get to call me May. Only family gets to call me that. And I know for a fact that's not what you are. When did you suspect? It had to be recent, otherwise you wouldn't have told me about Ubin. Or you wouldn't have brought me to see Mom. No, don't you dare mention it! I'm sorry. What I'm saying is, some good has come of me being here. <laughs> Your mom is on the road to recovery. Leonard gets his friend back. Sammy has forgiven herself for what happened that night in Ubin, and Riza gets to realize his dream. I can't believe this. You're actually taking credit for all of this. I'm just saying, I'm more than happy to keep what really happened in Ubin in 2004 a secret. Is that a threat? It's a reminder that it's to your benefit and our friends that we keep this secret going. And how long do you think you'll be able to keep the charade up for? Hmm? I just need to keep it up for long enough. After that, I'm out of your lives. And how do you think Mom's going to take that? Or Riza? Or Sammy? I'll work something out so that everyone is happy. Even Sammy? Sammy's been in love with Chris ever since we were kids. She's in love with you. Then you're just going to leave her broken again. Like I said, I'll fix this. Bottle of your most expensive whiskey? Is still cheap enough to rot your liver? You don't sound local. Jim, Singaporean? <laughs> yeah. You? Allegiant. I haven't seen you around before. Yeah, I travel around. I pick up odd jobs here and there. You sound like you are a regular. Which means I should give you the really good stuff. Well, that's for the bottle. Whatever left over from that is all yours. That's a generous tip. Consider me the bribe for you to always give me the best stuff. Plus, I am grateful to have someone I can finally have a conversation with. So, how should I address you? I don't usually tell people my name, but I have a good feeling about you. You can call me... You can call me Chris. It was a wild party last night. Honestly, I've never seen someone party as high as you. Ever. Chris, you okay not? Maybe you should get some sleep. Or we could go get some breakfast, pick up something for our friend in there. She's not my friend. <laughs> well, she suddenly was friendly if you know what I mean. She's one of those people that come running when I wave my money. I don't have any real friends. Not anymore.
I used to have friends. I have to leave them all behind. You could always go and visit them. I can't go home. I know you said uh, your family banished you because you were the black sheep or whatever. But that shouldn't stop you. I can never go home. Ever. I... You know what you mean? I wish I got a chance to say goodbye. My friends. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. I'm gonna miss this place. I told you, you don't have to move if you don't want to. I can help you with the rent. And I've told you, I don't want our relationship to be like that. I want a home that's mine, that's not tainted by Shen. And I can't believe he tried to. to. Hey, H. You're safe now. I'm stuck with you. Hey. I'm only joking. I know we only just started dating. No. No. It's not that. It's just... You said you wanted a house that is... Yours? How about a place that is ours? Hello? Are you a friend of Spencer's? Me. David! <laughs> what happened? I was trying to call you since last night. My phone and I ran into a bit of trouble. Did he tell you who hired him? It's a small fry. Took his orders from a bunch of middlemen. I spent last night and most of today tracking down these middlemen until I got a name. Don't tell me it's Robert Ye. Not quite, but close. This fixer, Eddie. It's very, very good of you to come, Mr. Riza. It's the least I can do. Your husband was always very honest with me. He's also a fighter. The doctor said that he'll never wake up again. But I believe that he will. I know that he'll find his way back to me. That's why I talk to him every day. Make sure he knows that I'm here. You know, sometimes when I talk to him, I feel something. Like his finger moving, his eyes twitching. Like he's about to open them. You should try. What? Yes, please no, try. No, it's okay, really. Please do. It might make a difference to him to hear a different voice other than mine. Please. I'm sorry that this happened to you. You didn't deserve this. There! See? Oh, this is the biggest reaction so far. He must really like you to behave like this. I know that he will wake up one day. Tell us who did this to him. 
who? But the police said it was an accident. No, this was no accident, I know. And I will find out who did this to you. Hey, why are you hiding here when there's a party at Babel's bloody nuts? Relax, man. I was just... Nuisance as usual. Come on, I was just... Spudging off me for food, drinks, even the roof over your head like I've always done. Hey, don't forget. You were the one who asked me to move in because you had no friends and you were lonely. Huh? Who's the one coming with her money for you to have all the good times you've been enjoying, you punk? You know what? Give me your money. You need them to buy your new friends once I'm gone. Did you know about this? What now, Anton? Mary in finance just told me your father's directed her to stop funding to all departments. He's throwing financial muscle behind your brother's startup. What? You're telling me you didn't know about this? This isn't you screwing with me? My team and projects will be affected too, genius. You and I have worked our butts off to get this far. And now your brother just swoops in and Rises to the top? What are you suggesting? An alliance. An alliance to advance both our interests in the company and to bring your brother down. Hey, Sonia, I was wondering if I could get my old job back. I need some work, man. Yeah? Took us a while to find you, John. We heard this was your last job, so I thought maybe your old boss would know where you are. He didn't seem to know anything, though. We were just about to give up until, lo and behold, you come walking in. Bet you didn't expect to see me ever again. Not after you left me with Boss Chow alone. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry. I, I'm really. He said that you and I. We owed him for, you know, trying to con him. So, uh, in order to pay off my debt, I started working for him. And, well, part of my work was looking for you. <laughs> Boss Chow also took something more from me to remind me never to betray him again. And now it's your turn to pay. Keys before we return them. Chris. I'm in trouble. I need your help. What about this one? We're here to get supplies to help me move out. Not get a new rice cooker or coffee maker or toaster. I just want to make sure our new home has everything we need. Well, I do like a man who plans ahead. I'm glad you do because I'm already planning the weekend trips, the yen holidays, nursery colours. <laughs> nursery? As if I don't already have my hands full with you. Oh, too bad because I want at least a basketball team. A basketball team? And we're going to run gonna rings around you team? and terrorise you. <laughs> Sammy, 
after the chaos and insanity of my life, I can finally see a normal, stable future for myself. It's all because of you. Dad, we need to talk. Jasmine, now. I'm busy. One minute you were saying you would never go in on Chris and Breeze's startup without a partner, and now... And now I've decided it's too good an opportunity to pass up. Rubbish. Neither Chris nor Reza have the experience or know how to run it. And you didn't you immediately didn't know anything trust when me you with millions of dollars. Either. Dad, what are you not telling me? Nothing you need worry about. That's not an answer. What Enough. Are... This is still my damn company, not yours. I can do whatever I want without being questioned by you. Understand? If they're sending men, that means they're scared. They should be, after what I found out from Mrs. Here. But it wasn't easy. She still has bad days. It's like... She's lost in the past. Mrs. Ye, my name is David. I'm an investigator. I want to ask you some questions. This was one of those days. I want to talk to you about Cassandra Gunn. Mrs. Ye, I'm sure you remember her. She was your children's piano teacher. This is a picture of Cassandra Gunn, Mrs. Ye. Can you, can you try and remember something? I am this. This is yeah, it's a picture of Cassandra Gunn when she got killed. Please try and remember something. Is there anything she said? Your last conversation with her, something. Can you remember, please? This is a waste of time. Why? But it turns out, her being lost in the past work to my advantage. Mrs. Yeh, yeah, you remember something? Why wasn't I good enough? Robert Yeh was having an affair with Cassandra Gunn. How did Mrs. Yeh find out? She found this jewelry box in his study. Obviously, she thought it was for her. She opened it. When she went to pick Jasmine up from her piano lesson a few days later, there she saw it. The unique floral pattern bracelet on the piano teacher's wrist. Wait, I thought Chris bought that bracelet for her. There are two bracelets. There were two bracelets? I did some digging. This was taken in early 2004. And this is from late 2004. The bracelet's gone. The bracelet Chris bought, he bought it a month before he disappeared in December 2004. Wait, wait, wait. So the kid bought the same bracelet for the woman that was sleeping with his father. Maybe he didn't know that she was sleeping with his father. Maybe he was just thinking that he was being nice to her. You're missing the point. Look, Robert Yeh was having an affair with Cassandra Graham. Mid-year 2004, they broke up. There's no sign of the bracelet. So you really think he killed her because of a bad breakup? Or maybe she threatened to expose the affair. But. Chris got involved in this somehow. Robert Ye and his fixer covered it up and they're still covering it up now. The pieces fit, kind of, but it's still weak though. We need to pressure Robert Ye and his fixer. I'll call my police contact, find a reason to bring him in and question him about the center. And I'll write up the story with some public scrutiny on him. You're at home so early. Riz! Oh, sorry. I was just doing some work. How come you're not at the office? I wasn't feeling very well. I asked if I could work from home. Mm -hmm. The vending manager. I better get you aspirin. Sayang? Mm hmm. What would you think about going overseas? Like a holiday? Anna's too young, no? No, no, like living overseas. Sayang, what are you doing? Do you want to live overseas? No la. Just heard a colleague from work is migrating, that's all. The grass is always greener on the other side. It's an illusion. Nah, 
Ikan ni. Have to leave now. No, not until I find out whether we're getting our money or not. I'm working on it. It's okay, but this time next week. This we... time next week, we're supposed to be far away from here. John, I need updates. I have to plan our getaway. I'm not coming. What? I'm gonna stay. Actually, see the startup through. Give it a shot. Again? What? You don't understand. I have a chance to stop running. Uh, more like a chance of getting caught and thrown in jail. I have the bracelet for insurance. If Robert decides to leave me alone, I won't expose him. And what makes you think he's not going to come after you? God, you idiot! Because I think he's known for a long while now that I'm not his son. But he didn't expose me because he's afraid of what would tumble out. Plus, if he wanted to, he could have come after me a long time ago. Why are you doing this? But is it Sammy or... It's not just about Sammy. This is a chance for something normal. Something I can build my life on. Don't be an idiot, John. You can't build something on a lie. I want to try. Look, you lost a finger because of me, remember? So why do you care so much as long as you get a fair share of money? It's not about the money, John. I've spent years learning from you, working with you, living with you. You're the only real family I've ever had, okay? I mean, I can't help it if I still care about you just a little bit. Okay? I'm sorry that I left you behind boss child, Mia. I, I was selfish. I was a coward. But I don't want to run anymore. Okay. Come on, let's get off here before Sammy sees you. What are we doing here, Chris? I thought it'd be obvious. Okay, but why? In all the years I've known you, you never expressed interest in kayaking. Because I want to. And because you are going to do whatever I tell you to. That is why you came back, right? Because you need me to give you money to pay off boss child. Not because you're a friend or not because you care. <sighs> Look. When I was a kid, my favorite memory was camping with my friends. We'd go cycling, hiking, kayaking, you know. That's all things. I just want to relive the memory. Let's just do this. Hey, babe, I don't think we've got enough duct tape, you know. Chris, when we were at the store, who was she? Chris, after Shen, I don't think I can bear to be with someone who... I'm not Shen, Sammy. She's nobody. Nobody's nobody. Who is she? She's just someone I see around Dad's office. She saw me at a store and she came and said hi. Honestly, I can't even remember her name. And I spent a whole encounter worrying she realized that. Then she started telling me about a cat which she had to put down recently. And I had to comfort her, it got really awkward. It's, it's nothing sad, really. But... Hold on. Sammy, I gotta call his dad. I think he has good news. Okay. You're wrong, you know. It wasn't about the money you were throwing around, or the parties. I mean, 
it was about that at first. But the morning when I saw you at the balcony, you looked so lonely. I lived my life alone. I can walk away from anyone, anytime. But when I saw you that morning, I thought, he knows what that is like. You were. You are a friend, Chris. And I don't have many of those. Susan, pull up the audit records over the past 10 years. I... Um, let me call you back. You plan to take down Chris? I'm in. We're here for Robert Ye. I've spoken to the board and they agreed. Year Capital will commit $10 million over five years to Kaksa. The initial $3 million for startup expenses. $4 million. We have partners who have supported us from the beginning, who should be rewarded. $4 million to be dispersed immediately. And because we trust you, we'll give you full reign over how you use the money. No questions asked. Don't worry. I'll put the money to good use building a new life and a career for myself. Here. Wait, what? Actually, I was thinking, maybe it'd be better if we base Kaksa overseas, like Bangkok. A lower cost and a bigger manpower yes, pool. You two better get your bloody story straight, you understand? So Robert Ye, we require your assistance on a case, so please follow us. What case? Someone has accused you of hiring a gangster to assault him. So I think it's best we address this right now, Mr Ye. We should go back, Chris. I want to stay a bit longer. Chris, please. It takes us an hour to roll back, and then another hour to drive back. I really need the money tonight, okay? Next week, it'll be 15 years since I last saw my sister, my friends. Chris, I'm very willing to talk this through with you. I want to But I cannot do that if Bochow kills me, okay? I'm not letting go home again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I still know how to walk. Okay. Hey, Jess, sorry, now's not a good time. Okay, calm, calm down. Calm. Don't cry, just breathe. Arrested? For what? Who got arrested? What happened? Jasmine's father. Sorry, Jess, I can't. Ma's doctor's appointment is today. It's okay, go. No, Ma. That poor girl needs you. I can't just leave you alone. Don't worry, I'll call Minnie to meet me here instead. Just go. All right, just hang tight. I'm on my way.
bloody knock? Where's your money, Chris? Yeah. Where is my money? Huh? Watch out, please. Time's up. If you don't have the money to pay, you will pay with something else. Like your life! Wait, 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 wait. I know how to get your money. That should cover us. <laughs> How did you do it? I pretended to be Chris, forged his signature and closed the account. Hmm. Sounds like it may be a good idea for you to continue to be him. Are you suggesting... No. Not a good idea to be in business with you again. You don't have to work for me anymore. Unless... <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hey, Ma. Sorry, I got caught in traffic. It's okay. No rush. What happened to Leonard, huh? One of his friends called. There was an emergency, so I told him to go. Which friend? I didn't ask. Uh, come, let's go. We're late already. Are you okay, Ma? Uh, uh, I need water. Uh, do you want to have stairs first, maybe? Ma? 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 Mama, please wake up. Mama, please wake up. Help!